Welcome to ATEC Training's Quick Start Video Series. Today we're going to be featuring our Electric Vehicle Systems Trainer Model 5820 EV. We're going to go over the parts and pieces that make up this unit, explain how to wire it together, and show how you can implement it into your classroom training sessions. So go ahead, grab your operations manual, and let's get started. To support your electric vehicle training program, ATEC offers our Electric Vehicle System Model 5820 EV. This system is designed to help your students learn in a very simple format and then build on complexity. We're going to offer different parts to start the process off, which are going to include an electrical wiring diagram that's going to show you how all the systems are integrated and wired together. It's also going to include all your low and high voltage wiring. We do also include a 120 volt AC wall adapter that you'll use to charge your trainer itself. You're going to get the assembly board and all of our additional components that make up a traditional electric vehicle system. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look. The assembly board includes space for several different components that you would find on today's electric vehicles. Starting in the top right hand corner you're going to see our low voltage control board. This is our simulated vehicle with simulated LED headlights and taillights as well as an ignition switch. Moving down from there, we have our low voltage circuit protection because we don't want to have any circuits that are not actually protected. Moving to the left from there, we have our low voltage junction block. This is where we're going to bring together all of our positive and all of our grounds. Below that, we have our low voltage battery management system that's going to uh, charge and monitor the charging process of our low voltage battery. And of course, we got to have a low voltage battery to include along uh, with our charger, as well as a way to test this guy and see what our charge level is. And then down here in the bottom right, you're going to find our AC permanent magnet synchronous traction motor simulator. To the left of that, we have our DC to AC inverter, which is going to produce a true sine wave coming out the back side. Above that, we have our DC to DC converter, where we're going to take high voltage and step it down to low voltage. Also included in this kit are two contactors. So we have a high voltage contactor as well as a charge contactor. Below that, we have our high voltage circuit protection with a quick, quick burn ceramic fuse. We also include the high voltage junction block where you're going to bring all your high voltage positive and all your high voltage negative wiring together. And last but not least, a simulated high voltage battery pack that's going to run about 24 volts and in a safe chemistry makeup. So let's go ahead and get this thing wired up. With our trainer completely wired up, let's take a look at how it operates. First of all, take notice of our low voltage battery system here and our high voltage battery system here, and that I'm not wearing any gloves. Everything here is a safe regulated amount of voltage, 12 volts on this side. We've got 24 volts on this side, so no one's going to be hurt when they're operating with this equipment. Uh, to start the trainer off, you do have an ignition switch right here. So when you flip that ignition switch on, that activates the high voltage contactor here, which is going to supply the high voltage power directly to our DC to AC inverter. So we've got high voltage 24 volt DC coming in here, and we've got 120 volts at 60 hertz AC coming out here to drive our traction motor. Also featured up here is our DC to DC converter, where we're taking our high 24 volts and we're stepping it down to a lower close to 12 volts, and that's so we can uh, operate our battery management system that's going to properly charge our 12 volt battery because guess what we don't have a alternator with our electric vehicle system also we do have the circuit protection that's active right now we also have got our, our low voltage side here as well and if you notice up here we've got one more contactor this is the charge contactor i want to show you all how that works real quick we turn the system off we've got the car pulled in the garage we go and we've got our 120 volt system here. This is going to plug directly into our wall and then we're going to use this end to plug into 
our car. And once we plug this in, what we'll notice part of what the purpose of this charge contactor does is it isolates the system out so only the high voltage battery gets charged and all the high voltage management and uh, knowledge and uh, no overcharging, no undercharging, cell management, all that's being done by this unit right here. But when you are plugged into the wall, if you try to ready up your vehicle, if you notice the car, because the charge contactor has actually separated the whole system out, that we will not get any operation here. No inverter operation, no traction motor control, um, no charging of our 12 volt system. All we're able to do is actually charge our 24 volt set here uh, while we're plugged in the car, into the car. And that's so we can't think about it. So we can't drive away with our charger still connected to our vehicle when we pull out of the garage. Thank you for joining us today as we went over our electric vehicle system trainer model 5820 EV. We hope you enjoyed learning about the parts and pieces that make up an electric vehicle system. If you found this training intriguing, please make sure to hit the like button. Also check out our other social media pages on Facebook and LinkedIn. And don't forget, we do quarterly training here at ATEC if you'd like to learn more about your equipment and how you can use it further in your classroom. Thanks a lot and have a great day.